I had like a really funky sensation on my head and so automatically I'm like, oh, sepsis, brain infection. The infections move to your bloodstream. I've very much spiraled out of control. The fear and anxiety that Cassie has definitely has taken control over her life. I do have obsessive thoughts. Everything that I think has to do with dying. I'm so frustrated right now. This fear is sudden that I'm gonna die. After the initial panic, I start having fight or flight. The symptoms, prickly cheek, palpitating heart. I start pacing back and forth. I start wiggling my hands. I start grabbing my chest because I feel like a stroke is coming on. She asked for a lot of reinsurance that she's gonna be okay. I have 50 to 100 fears right now. Cassie's main fears are like dying, having a heart attack, having a stroke. Working out at the gym, tanning, getting my hair done. Taking medications, driving the car. She's afraid of red lights. I have run red lights more times than I can count. Terrified of stores. Food being tampered with. I'm obsessing over food. Like what if it has caffeine? What if it has too much sugar? What if it induces a panic attack? What if I have the heart palpitations? Cassie has OCD tendencies or rituals. One of them is kind of out there is Cassie has to take certain routes on the road. There's times where Joe's been driving and I'm like, I need to get out of the car. I need to get out of the car. Like stop the car. Like where I'm like, I'm opening this door and there's traffic and I don't care, I'm getting out. The anxiety has gotten so severe. It's causing a lot more tension between Joe and I. I put walls up. I make it his job to make me feel better. What scares me the most is that he might think I'm like an unfit mother or that I am not the right person for him. I want Cassie to have some freedom from what's going on upstairs in her head. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.